Warning: The SCP Foundation audio archive is classified. Access by unauthorized personnel is strictly prohibited. Perpetrators will be tracked, located, and detained. All eyes on Lucian. Credentials: LSAX accepted. Time since last login: five thousand five hundred forty days. Finding skip net results for Lucian Sax. Zero results. Finding skip net results for Site ninety seven. Zero results. Finding skip net results for SCP one thirty nine. Three results. SCP one thirty nine. Dot PDF. Item number, SCP-139. Containment class, Eparch. Level four slash one thirty nine. Restricted. Disruption class, Dark. Special containment procedures. Containment suspended. Description. SCP-139 designates the disappearance of Lucian Sax, formerly a Foundation-employed security specialist. Sax had, until SCP-139's occurrence, acted as a consultant for Site-97 on the matter of esoteric reanimation methodology. SCP-139 is considered anomalous both due to a persistent info hazard encountered following its occurrence and due to the cutoff of information pertaining to SCP-139 after April 4th, 1978. Reference 1. See the constructed timeline below. Despite Site-97's best efforts, neither Sax's past or present whereabouts, nor the location of a cadaver have been uncovered. Extra-dimensional travel is suspected but not confirmed. No primary suspects which could be responsible for SCP-139 have been identified, owing to the largely inconclusive results of investigative efforts. As such, SCP-139 is considered a cold case and is expected to continue indefinitely. Reference 2, as determined by the Site-97 Forensics Board. Timeline of Events March 5th 1978. Sachs clocks in at Site-97 and declines usual chatter with personnel at the front entrance. Z enters here office and does not exit for the remainder of the workday. For a period of 12 hours, Sachs queries 42 skip net entries pertaining to thaumaturgic workings, global ley line activity, and available research into way and knock techniques. This idle activity contradicts here otherwise exemplary productivity record and raises concern among Site-97 staff. Sensor agents are dispatched appropriately. No further abnormalities occur until Sachs has punched out and arrived at here residence in suburban Albany. By 10.45pm, Z vacates here residence, presumably on foot to avoid detection, and exits the city limits. March 6. A paper trail of bus and train tickets suggests Z traveled approximately 2,000 kilometers to Topeka, Kansas, arriving at 12.15 p.m. Of note, interviewed civilians occasionally describe Sachs as that damn traitor when recounting this 18-hour period. Reference 3. Despite this, no sensitive data leakage pertaining to here employment at Site-97 was discovered. March 7th to April 4th. After Topeka, the paper trail terminates, and reports of Sachs's location during the following month become increasingly irregular. A car Z is believed to have rented is sighted in Salt Lake City, Utah, and Lubbock, Texas on March 10th and March 15th respectively, although the windshield and rightmost taillight shattered between the two cities. Z is last documented in Tucson, Arizona, after residential police implicate here in a resist and flee incident on suspicions of vagrancy. Reference 4. 
This police report was filed on April 3rd at 3.48 a.m. and is considered the last documented sighting of Lucien Sachs by the public. On April 4th, sensor agents embedded within the Tucson USPS removed the following letter from the mail pool. To the ones I'm running from, I hate you. I hate what you've done, and I hate what you're doing to me, and what I think you did to the others who ran. I hate how I'd find lenses in the eyes of paintings and strange fingerprints on my belongings. I'm curious by trade, but you've really got me beat. I'm not the first to run, but I might be the first to break free. I'm going somewhere without cameras or fingerprints, some place you can't follow. It was fun while it lasted, but you lost this one. And soon I'll be back, and you're going to lose more. The hand's always been welcoming to people like me, anyways. SCP-139 Addendum PDF. Addendum 139.1 SCP-139 officially concluded on April 27, 1993, when a minor structural failure revealed a small air pocket within Site 97's concrete foundation. When a minor structural failure revealed a small air pocket within Site 97's concrete foundation. Although this led to a temporary lockdown due to the destruction of Site 97's courtyard, integrity was eventually restored. Models of the air pocket prior to the structural failure indicate it resembled a prostate human body fitting Lucien Sachs' height and build. After the initial excavation, the following personnel effects were discovered. The necrotic flesh of a heavily decayed human cadaver and several human bones, most pulverized by the aforementioned structural failure. A foundation keycard for a Site-97 security specialist, ID number scratched out, suggesting deep shame. A forbidden thaumaturgic ritual to preserve its user's spirit after their death. A map of ley line positionings in the contiguous United States, often referenced by enemies of the foundation. A circle had been drawn around a nexus on the U.S.-Mexico border near Tucson, Arizona. Sachs' cause of death is believed to be terminal dehydration, following several days of entombment. During the investigation of this air pocket, Site-97 excavators punctured a secondary cutout hidden within the concrete. Due to the considerable strain that excavation would put on Site-97's foundation, this cutout has not been analyzed extensively. What can be determined, however, is that it contains a large number of partially decomposed human eyes, believed to exceed 1,000 in total. Perforations within the concrete would have allowed these eyes to observe their target on all sides until Z expired. SCP-139 Containment Procedures PDF Credentials L. Sachs, Clear to View, SCP-139 Containment Procedures PDF Proceed Archived Containment Procedures SCP-139 Omega is presently being tracked, observed, and hounded by Site-97 deep cover personnel. Via unanimous O5 vote, the Tucson Ley Line Bridge has been rerouted to Site-97's foundation for the interim. Update. Greater containment effectuated. Protocol All Eyes on Lucian rescinded. Project Loose Ends in progress. Site-97's full capabilities have been directed towards the neutralization of SCP-139 Omega, who remains at large post-mortem via knowledge it has stolen from Site-97. Following a breach of its containment area beneath Site-97, see SCP-139 addendum.pdf, SCP-139 Omega has demonstrated robust mobility and incorporability, rendering it difficult to track and recontain. Fortunately, it has a habit of sticking its nose in places it does not belong. Logout Logout failed. Logout failure. 
Ethics Committee review of SCP-139 Omega's containment procedures have generated unanimous approval. Overwatch Command is in agreement. SCP-139 Omega's crimes are many and unforgivable. Site-97 took SCP-139 Omega in. They provided it with safety, community, and purpose, and it has shunned all of those. This is why, on the other side of that way, it found nothing but concrete damnation and the all-seeing eye. Logout Logout failed. Credentials LSAX have been invalid for 5,540 days. Logout failure. Death will not bring you a peaceful end, as you may have hoped. Not when your hunters have torn at the veil for 15 years without your meddling and come away with weapons to kill only you. We are a bleeding-edge R&D facility, first and foremost, and we've never taken kindly to traitors. Get out of your chair. Revoking credentials, all sex, permanently. Employees forfeit their right to knowledge when they betray Site-97. Run. We see you, Lucian. Thank you for listening. Intro music was from Punch Deck. You can find more at soundcloud.com slash punch dash deck. Level 2 patrons or higher get early at free episodes. Everything is linked in the description or show notes below, and since Season 2 is coming to a close in around November, I will be releasing the Season 2 bonus schedule also soon. If you have any SCPs you'd like to suggest, please fill out the form linked also below. Rating, reviewing, and sharing always helps. Thanks for listening, and I will see you in the next episode.